Hello, these videos are intended for explaining the e-consent process using REDCap. It is important to note these videos are for understanding technically how to do it and understanding what capabilities REDCap has. However, uh, you will need to work with the IRB and check with your IRB approval in terms of if this is applicable to your specific study. Uh, different types of studies will have different allowable techniques that are uh, applicable with regards to e-consent. So that said, to create an e-consent, the first thing you would do is you would take your IRB approved consent form. So here we have a, a dummy document here uh, for just for demonstration purposes, uh, imagining as if this were an actual uh, IRB approved uh, consent form. So it's about four pages we've got here. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need this to be in an image file. So unfortunately on my computer, it's a little bit slow. You might have tools that make this a little faster. But for me, what I've been doing is I will go to print. I'll let that open up. I'll choose one page at a time because we need an image of each individual page. I have to do it as a bit of a two step. So I'll say save as PDF. Let the wheel spin. And then I would call this page one. I'll say save. And then what I can do on my computer is if I go and view the item I just created, I can right click and open with preview on a Mac. Let that open up. And then there's one final step of file, export, and now I'm going to change this to a PNG, uh, which is an image file that REDCap will like to work with. So unfortunately, it can be a little bit tedious. You will need to do this for every page of your document. You can go ahead and hit save on that, and save. And now I can go ahead and access these from my, I saved mine to my documents file uh, folder. You may choose to save them elsewhere. And in the next video, we'll look, about, look at how we will set up our REDCap project to have a consent form for e-consent.